I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture. Now, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to the great state of California. Now this video is a couple years old. This video was first edited by me back when the COVID crisis began, and that's been uh, that's been almost three years ago when the COVID crisis first started. But I think this video is a little more recent than that. It's a couple of years old, but at any rate, it's from Dr. Day's vault. Yeah. As old boy would say, it's from my archives. Yes, archives. No doubt about it. Whatever the hell archives is. But it shows just how stupid a sovereign citizen can be when he thinks the 14th Amendment gives him the right to travel. No doubt about it. <laughs> Enjoy! over. I love it. Moments later. Hello. I do this all the time. I believe in my constitutional right to travel. Okay, can I see your driver license, please? Is that an order? I'm sorry? I'll more than welcomely handle it, hand it over as long as you order me to do it. But yes, sir. Absolutely. I'm you're, so you're order, ordering me? You, okay. Yeah, absolutely. How come your license plate's not on your car? Uh, the 14th Amendment has, says I have the right to travel. There is so much going on in the first few seconds of this video. I didn't want to stop it this soon, but I just had a comment because this guy's getting pulled over and he seems rather happy about it. I don't know about you, but uh, I wouldn't be happy to get pulled over, I can tell you that much. And then he hands the officer his license plate that's supposed to be on the back of the car. What's the story on that? And now, now he wants to talk about the 14th Amendment. Well, right here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but this was enacted right after the Civil War here in this country in 1866. And it what it says is that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or their property without due process of law. And it had to do with equal protection under the laws, which was due to the end of slavery. It's a complex amendment, but it has nothing to do with this idiot driving a car on the road. Well, let's check it out. Without being taxed and without a license plate and without insurance. I do have insurance. And I do have a license. Okay, can I see the I'm traveling. Insurance? I don't have it with me. You can write me a ticket for it. That's no problem. I have uh, in the trunk. I've got three court What's cases. I've lost my license, and the, due to the coronavirus pandemic, the DMV is not uh, open. Okay, I can't. So you have a valid California driver license. Absolutely. Okay. Is your registration current? Absolutely. That's not. It's not on there. But yes, it is current. Okay. Well, do you have the registration? I don't want the license. No, nope. you can write me a ticket for that. That's no problem. I, I, like I said, I've got three court cases and uh, two in two in Fontana, one in uh, El Monte for so the same thing. And uh, um, if you if you're gonna show up to court, please write me a ticket because I really want this to be resolved for so the right to travel because we have the right to travel without insurance. What planet is this guy from? Because I want to move there. Oh, can you imagine no car insurance? Boy, we'd all save a lot of money, wouldn't we? Wouldn't that be nice? But there's only one problem with that, sonny boy. What's going to happen when you get into an accident? 
Who's going to pay for all that bloody mess to fix the car or replace it? And who's going to pay all those medical expenses? Oh, oh, that's right. You want to live in a socialist economy where the government takes care of everything. Well, good luck with that. Insurance is gambling. Insurance is gambling. Insurance is gambling. Insurance is gambling. And I am traveling. I'm not driving. That's the main thing I need to tell you is I'm not driving right now. I'm traveling. Driving is for commercial use only. I'm not... I don't need a license and I don't need insurance and I don't need registration when I'm traveling. Okay. So that's what this is about. I'm just a constitutionalist. You're more than welcome to write me any tickets you feel necessary and we can resolve okay, them in well, court. Can I tell you all the reasons I stopped you? Uh, sure. Okay. The vehicle that you were following in the number one lane, you were way too close. You were less than one car length he, behind he the He stopped. I, I, at 65. Okay. I was behind you for about okay. four miles. Okay. I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. But um, no, I don't also, agree. Yeah. I, don't, I don't agree I was doing anything unsafe. Also, you have a brake light that's out. That's true. I do have the brake light right here. You know, one thing I find so nice of this chap is that he's giving the officer permission to write him tickets. Isn't that mighty nice of him? Oh, no doubt about it. But I have a feeling it could escalate into something more serious. I could be wrong, but I haven't watched this entire video, and I don't remember how it ends up. So let's check it out. Um, yes. Okay. And and that's the grease to put it in. Right. Um, so so you're more than again you're more than welcome to write me a fix it ticket if you want to try and tax me for for stuff to try and make so revenue. You have three other courts or three other cases for this exact same thing, and I'm winning have them. They already uh, been adjudicated? No, because of the coronavirus. But uh, when when we do go back, it's going to be common law, and the Constitution is going to be returned. And uh, you. You, I highly recommend being very careful on how you handle this. As long as you're going to show up to court, please write me a ticket. But if you're not going to show up to court, then there's no point in writing me a ticket. Because I want an honorable judge to resolve this issue, the 14th Amendment, that says we have the right to travel. And I've got all the documentation about these court cases right, right there in my trunk. That's why I really enjoy watching YouTube videos about sovereign citizens and Moorish nationals. I learn something every time. Who would have thought that the 14th Amendment gives us the right to travel here in the United States? Well, I never knew that. I certainly didn't. But at any rate, idiot, if you don't produce a valid driver's license shortly, I believe you'll be taking a ride in the back of the squad car. Now, like I said earlier, I haven't watched the end of this video. I don't remember what happens, but I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. If you don't have a valid driver's license, they're not going to let you just drive away, sonny boy. What are you thinking? If you want to look. back on and stay here in the car. Yes, sir. So he's committed two felonies and violated my constitutional rights. That would be, there's no fire using your, his emergency lights with no reason and he ordered me and no man can order another man to do something a few moments later how's it going so I've got three CHP cases and uh, let me just get your name and badge number for the record sir and I'll be yeah, happy. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. Uh, uh, no. Uh, can you please identify yourself, please? Yep. Yeah, it'll all be on the ticket. Can you? Minutes, you can't identify yourself. And what Listen to Sunny Boy. Can you please identify yourself? Any officer responds. That'll all be on the ticket, Sunny Boy. But Sunny Boy wants the officer to articulate his name. Oh, it's a shame when those officers won't cooperate, isn't it? Well, you know what they always say. Ignorance is bliss, and in this case, it's really bliss. No doubt about that. What about your uh, partner? Can I get I, his I name and badge? Give me a minute. Okay. Yeah. Um, Paul, can I just say one more thing? Is I've got three CHP cases. The last time I got pulled over by CHP, he didn't even give me a warning. And that, that thin blue line flag, I just noticed, that is absolutely a disgrace to the American flag. But I, I will, uh, I understand. You're doing your job, but you've made two mistakes and committed a felony for using your emergency lights when there's no emergency. So you're in big trouble uh, because of this ticket. So let me go ahead and sign and uh, we can be on our way. Are you done, sir? I'm done. Okay. Absolutely. What I have here, sir, is a citation for you not having your license plates on your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Also for not I got it. I, I understand everything. 
I, I, I see it. I see okay, it. I'm still going to explain the ticket, sir. Okay, you got okay, it. That's my job. That's your job. This punk needs a bit of a smackdown. I think everyone watching this would agree. What's wrong with this kid? Yeah, you know, everybody has a job to do, and these officers have a difficult enough job without dealing with this kind of nonsense. Oh, I have three court cases in my trunk. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have four, sweetheart. Yeah, if you don't pay those fines, guess what? Those can put you into jail just as quickly as anything else. Doesn't have to be a criminal citation. Traffic citations can throw you in jail just as easily. So you better pay up. Also and to molest. Having proof of insurance. And to molest and children. A vehicle too closely. You got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I, I don't. I don't admit guilt of that, and that wasn't. That wasn't the case. But uh, I'm going to give you a warning today on the tail light. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Please don't molest any children or beat your wife and stuff like that. You know, because that thin blue line flag shows that you protect pedophiles. So let me go ahead and sign. Okay. Sir, you're also required to have your valid California driver's license. There's a pandemic going on. I understand I, that. I'm not writing you a ticket for that as well. I'm just letting you know. You're so kind. Okay. Thank you so Your much. Your information is down here at the bottom of the ticket. Oh, I'll be there. You better be there too. Uh, you because that. Uh, you got it. Because I'm, I'm signing in the red box. You're you will have. Bill. All you're saying is that you're going to take. And you'll arrest me if I don't uh, sign it? If I didn't know better, I say this idiot's trying to get arrested. But who really wants to be arrested? Well perhaps a sovereign citizen then he would have a better case in court at least in his mind he'd have a better case in court because then he'd be kidnapped and kidnappings are crime no doubt about that if you choose not to sign the ticket sir yes you would have to get yeah, you got it then. Yeah. that's what i thought i'm just just checking but yeah you're you're in a bit of trouble because complaints are going to be filed right now Pub and i need his badge number are you done I, oh, is, is when I get his badge number. When I have his badge number, I don't have his badge number. Your badge number's on here, sir. And you I, and you haven't identified yourself either. I, I did when I walked up. I said no, I'm Officer Martin. No, you Meyer. didn't. I have the whole thing on. Okay. And your badge number or serial number? It, it's right here, sir. My badge number. You can't identify. Thank you. Wait, was it that hard just to vocalize that? Well, there you have it, folks. Another stupid moron just driving down the road free to do whatever he wants at least he thinks so anyway and those tickets don't mean anything because he's not going to pay him he's going to stand up to the man that's right he'll see that police officer in court no doubt what a lot of these idiots don't realize is the department pays these police officers to show up in court so yeah i would go sit in court for a couple of hours rather than be on the street well that's just me though i don't know but at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So many. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Hate racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permit? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. 
there will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!